Coach Monday, a little uh, practice here tonight yeah. for West Shore. Spire, there is the Defense Soap Duels tomorrow here. This is your first event that's been brought to you. A little yep. recruiting tomorrow, huh? Yep. <laughs> what are you bit. looking for? What are you going to be looking for? Tomorrow? Man, I'm just I'm a fan. You know, I'm looking I'm looking for uh, some great wrestling. You know, uh, you know, guys tell me all about you know the competition that kids that are, are competing here from all over the country, and so I'm just looking to, to see some good wrestling. It's uh, you know it's fun for me to uh, to host this event, and so I'm, I'm really proud of that. Our team has done a great job of, of getting it together, getting everything set up. I'm, I'm proud of our spa team getting everything set up and getting them ready for uh, competition tomorrow. So I'm just I'm excited to see some great wrestling. So you guys have you've progressed along since I was over here in August and you did a camp. And uh, give me the quick update on Spire Institute and what's going on here and what you guys are doing and how the wrestling program's going. We're growing, man. We're growing. I mean, more more and more people are starting to kind of you know find out that I'm here. I'm here, you know, full time. I'm coaching. We're, uh, you know, just building one by one. You know, we got about seven or eight kids uh, committed for next year. And uh, so I'm excited about you that. You do have commitments. I do, I do. When will they post, like, commitments and stuff like that? When can you put that out there? Uh, when, when, they get, when they get signed up. You know, I got two kids in the program right now. That are actually that's literally. Actually in the program, right, that are, you know, that are living here. And then, um, you know, we'll probably, you know, around the first of the year, we'll kind of start naming some of the commitments that we have. But we got some hammers coming in. We got some really tough kids coming in, and uh, I'm excited. I'm excited about uh, you know, just the opportunity to work with, with, with some good kids, you know, and just develop them and build a, build a program. It's a challenge, you know, but I'm up for it, and uh, I'm excited about it. So, yeah, we got some kids coming in. We got, got some senior level athletes coming in to train. So, I'm excited about that. We'll be making that announcement uh, pretty soon. Uh, so, I'm excited about that. So, keep your eyes open, man. We got some, some really, really good things happening. Construction is the name of the game here. They're expanding in, in every direction. Obviously, off the east end of the property, they seem to be expanding the most, but it is just like it's unbridled how much property they bought, what they're building, right. what this place is already. Right, right. Like, I, the, this building we're in is not a third of the facility. Not yeah. quite, right? Like, yeah. I, I was telling people that they're like, oh, this is, I go, no, yeah. there's a stadium yeah. in between here and then, a, then an indoor track even bigger than this facility because right. the ceiling's higher. Yeah, now we it's got insane. 750,000 square feet of facility and we just purchased another 500 acres. So now we've got a uh, Marriott Hotel we break, broke ground on. It's breaking ground actually next month. We've got a Starbucks that I'm pumped about. This, uh, on We're not going to be able to get you out of that. <laughs> got a Starbucks uh, coming in and so we've already uh, broke ground on that and so uh, that's coming right, you know, right in front of the uh, aspire right on the right side, on the left side, and so those things are happening, man. And we're just uh, we're building, man. It's this place will look, uh, and, and we're getting ready to build a whole new uh, dorms uh, for the student athletes. So we get which ready to... you have an actual dorm area over yeah. here with like seven townhomes, yep. basically. Yep. Exactly. And that was where the senior level athletes yep. stayed when they were here. Yep. Will you be hosting more men's freestyle, senior level type stuff? And yeah. U, U, U23s, right? We got U23s. We got U23s coming in uh, in June. So I'm really pumped about that, right? Because uh, I went to the ones last year and Quincy, my son, wrestled in it, got second. And so he gets to come home in, in, uh, to Ohio, which is our home now. And uh, so of course he'll be wrestling, hopefully. And uh, so yeah, U23s are here, man, and, uh, and the Junior World Team Trials are, are here as well. And so uh, now we're, we're pumped, man, we're excited. We're already, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the ink is signed, so it's, it's coming. Easier or harder than you thought it would be to build a program from scratch? Is it easier or harder? Like, where, where did you, give me your level. It's about a five out of 10, or 10 out of 10, this is murder. I, don't, I, I can't believe what I got myself into. Where are you at? <laughs> You know, it, you know, it's hard. It's hard. You know, it's like anytime, anytime you're building a program, you know, I don't care if it's already existing and, and you know, it's, you're taking over a program, it's still hard, right? It's, it's hard just because, um, you know, people don't know about it. They don't know about Geneva. They don't know about, you know, Spire. And so it's just getting the word out, letting people know that I'm here uh, full time. Uh, this property's been here, so people don't quite, quite know what's happening in Spire. You know, but now they know it's a, it's, a, it's a prep school, it's a boarding school, 9 through 12. Uh, we also got a, a post-grad program. So kids that need that, that gap year, if they're not quite ready for college and uh, they need that other year to develop or get, get, get strong, get bigger, get better, 
I'm here for them, right? So we get we got a post grad program. Then we got some senior level athletes that are coming uh, to train. You know, so it's uh, it was it's uh, it's 100 on, man. So, but it's not it's hard, but but I knew it was hard. You know, it's a challenge, but I'm, but but I like it. I like the challenge, right? It, it brings out the best in me. Ray sure. Ray Lewis was recently. Was he here? Ray Lewis was here yesterday. Or, yeah, day before yesterday. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, Ray Lewis, Mitch Richmond. I don't know if you know Mitch Richmond, NBA player. Yeah, Hall of Fame. I saw. I saw him. Yeah, I was yeah, like, Mitch was here. Yeah. You yeah. just showing them the grounds and maybe they creating are, some they interest. Are, no, they they interested. I mean, they're, they're you know they're they're uh, they're investors, all right. And so we're talking to those guys to get more involved. You know, Ray is a good friend of mine. You know, I met him back at two thirteen, and he's a state champ. And um, I think I've told you a story. Yeah, about, you're cleaning your car or yeah, something, right? I was at the car wash. And yeah. Ran into Ray, but you know, he, when he was a senior. In high school, his coach called me. I was getting ready for the 92 Olympic Games, and coach called me and said, hey, got this kid, he's a football player, but he, but I think he went state this year, been showing him your videotapes. And uh, and so, you know, Ray tells a story. I was his hero back in, in 1992, when he was still a senior in high school. Right, so he loves the wrestling, man. He's he's, uh, he's all in with this program. He's gonna back this program, and uh, he's gonna invest in it. And so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm super excited that he's involved. I gotta be respectful of your time. We're at six minutes and twenty-five seconds, and I already <laughs> lied to you and said we were only gonna go five. I'm good, man. I'm fine. You build it up at Bishop Lynch. Yes. You build a monster. You guys were runner-up in the preps. Yes. Is there any doubt that you can't be a top three no prep doubt. national team here at Spire? No doubt. There's no doubt in my mind. No doubt in my mind that uh, you know, you know, five years down the road, we'll 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 be very competitive in in, in that environment. Right? We'll be very competitive on a national level. I've already got some kids that, that are committed that are, are top kids in the country. So, no, in five years, you know, mark my word, we'll be, we'll be one of the top schools in the country. Iron Man, the biggest test is 50 minutes away. Right, right. I mean, think about it. Like, all this stuff right here. It is literally right here. You can go and be in PA power in an hour and right, a half. Right. Now, I mean, support, it's all right here. Yeah, the support that I'm getting from, uh, you know, just the program directors and, and the uh, – you know, the executives here at Spire, I mean, they're, they're 100% behind me. They're 100% want me to build an incredible program, a top top program. And, and really, you know, my goal is, is to build one of the best training environments in the world. I mean, if you want to, if you, want to you know, train for the world championships, try to make a world team, Olympic team, this is going to be the place to train. This is going to be the place to train, 100%. Cleveland's about 45 minutes down the road, downtown. Yeah. Yeah. So I think everybody gets this deceptive view that's in the middle of nowhere. It's on the lake shore, right. you're 45 minutes from Erie, right. you're 45 minutes from Cleveland. Right. It's not far, about an hour and 10 from the airport, right? Something like that. So yeah. it, it, I'll tell you what, I'm a big winery fan around here. I don't know if you got to hit them up. I love it, man. They're I pretty good. I love it. South and River. I no idea. South River Winery is an right. old church they moved. It's, yeah. it's really cool. d a lot of great wineries. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really have. It's a cool really spot have. in the it's summer. Really, really great spot. My wife and I have been going and uh, really enjoying the area. You know, it's, uh, people say it's so cold, you know, it's, it's, you know, but you know, it's not that bad. It was 60 degrees a day. And, you know, uh, but you know, I'm a chameleon. I can live pretty much anywhere. Give me yeah. my comfort stuff, man, and give me a couple mats and, I can live a whole lot of different places. This is the best indoor right. facility in the world right yeah. now. Yeah, it is. I don't think it's up. Seriously. I'm telling you, I'm telling you, man, in five years, this place will, will not look the same. It will not look the same. Well, I mean, we, we're going to build an incredible training uh, facility, incredible wrestling room, and uh, we're going to have some hammers in here, you know, vying to make Olympic world team. No doubt in my mind. I mean, one of the best rookies in the NBA right now. Lamella Ball spent yeah. a year here. Yeah. It's crazy. Who's the Pacers guy? There was a guy in the Pacers, right, too. Right. You've had multiple NBA players right, right. play here for a season. Right. And Lamelo Ball comes from Southern California where it's like you know, the same day, 350 days a year. So it's like if he could, you know what I mean? If he right. could stomach it, I think I think everybody else can survive. So. No. I'm excited, man. I'm excited that the duels are here, man. I'm excited to see these young kids get it. And there's nothing more exciting man, than seeing little young kids wrestle, man, and, and serious about it. I mean, I was just, Take these guys to a workout, man. I'm just calling out moves. I didn't have to show anything. It was just like boom, 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 boom. So that was fun to watch, man. Just something to just kind of sit back and call out the move, and they and they were executing. So it was, uh, you know, I love the fact that Ohio is just a it's a great state for wrestling. You know, coming from Oklahoma, Oklahoma was a hotbed when I grew up. I didn't really have to leave the state to get competition, and uh, so I, I love the fact that Ohio's that way. Pennsylvania's close. Uh, I got some kids coming from, from Oklahoma, 
already committed to come next year from Oklahoma. Any Texas kids, can I ask? Yeah, yeah. I knew there had to be a yeah. time. I knew that, right? The Bishop Blitz time, connection, right? I spent too much time in Texas. Dallas, Dallas Fort Texas Worth area, right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, still got a lot of great, great connections in Texas. And so, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely pluck some, some Texas kids. Texas, Oklahoma, Ohio, got Pennsylvania kids. I got a, matter of fact, I just got a kid that, uh, that committed from Georgia today. So, no, it's... Uh, it's going to be uh, kids from all over the country and all over the world. Actually, we got a couple uh, kids from uh, from um, different countries that, that are interested too, right? So it's an international, it has some international flavor coming in to Spire as well. So They don't understand how to fun. get off the mat. Did you know that yet? <laughs> they can rustle on their feet really well, but they don't understand right, the mat right, thing yet. Right, right, but they'll figure it out because they're really talented. Out. They're right, really they're good, good. And, they, you know, wrestling's yeah. wrestling. We've talked right, right. about that before. So uh, this opportunity, again, it's worldwide. I mean... You know, if you, if you got a passion, if you got a passion to be great, you love this sport, and, and you want to train, and you want to give yourself the best opportunity, you know, this will be one of the best places to come. Okay, so... Academically and... and oh, oh, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, the, academically, the... yeah, academically, we've got a great, got great teachers, got a great academic schedule, got a great curriculum, and so, uh, now, these kids will, you come out, you graduate from here, you'll be able to go... Ivy Leagues, uh, wherever you want to go, you'll be able to go. Who would you know about Ivy League schools? <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, I'm, hey. I'm excited about Hey, I'm, tough I'm Vegas. Quincy, man. Tough Vegas tournament, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah, was yeah, it Deacon? Yeah, yeah it was Deacon. 6-2? Yep, of course, he got in the finals, 8-3, I think it was. But it was 2-1 going to the third, right? So Quincy's wrestling really well. I'm really proud of him, man. He's, he's, he's handling his business. He's really matured a lot. Um, you know, I had him home for, for all of last year. Yeah. I mean, he was Jordan Oliver's main workout partner. The whole year. I, listen, and, uh, Quincy Monday can win the NCAAs. That's absolutely. I believe it. I believe it. Not just because he's You're nuts son. if you don't think he yeah, can. Yeah, you know, like and I'm a car fan. I'm yeah, a David Carr fan. Yeah. Come on. You're probably a car fan, I'm a car right? Fan. Right? I'm but, a car fan. but he's there. He's right there at that level. He's, right he's at that level, right? I'm yeah, a car Chris, fan. Chris but can beat anybody in the country. No, Promise. there's no question. There's no Any question. Any given day, right? He's put the time in. He's worked hard. And, and, and I love the fact because now. He's good enough to do whatever he wants to do in the sport. If he wants to go and he's in, he's gonna, he wants to go to med school, right? Um, but he's good enough right now to, if he wants to, after he finishes, try for Olympic team. He's good enough to, to, to make it. He's good enough to make that happen, to jump that level. Can we see his first semester? Can we see another guy at 165 pounds back at UNC, or is he is he gone? Is he graduated? Is he done? He's done. He, he, it's it's over for sure. Is there anything up that sleeve right now he's that you're done. not telling no, me about? He's, 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 he's done. About to go fight, he's moving dude. to fight. I saw that. I, I keep watching some some of his training stuff. Yeah, he wants to fight. He wants to fight. He wants to go make some money and fight, and that's what he wants to do. So, yeah, you're talking about Kennedy. Uh, Kennedy's uh, he's moved to L.A. and uh, is he in L.A. Working with yeah, okay. working with. Working I don't know with, if he was just out and no, then traveling working, back. Working with A.J. McKee and and, Ant, and uh, Antonio McKee and uh, so he's Joey Davis. Yeah. Yep, working with Joey Davis. Yeah. And, Joey Davis, uh, one of his NCAA yeah. titles here. Rap Page, Rap Page son is out there. Yeah. So no, he's uh he's in LA, man. He's he's training, and he, he's you know he's got some things coming up in the works, and so that's what he's doing, right? Is there that's any right concerns? His dad, you know, he got an Ivy League son. Did he graduate from UNC? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He did graduate from UNC. Yeah. He's got a degree from Chapel Hill, yeah. man. That's a good degree to have. Is there anything about being a dad with a face puncher as a son? Is there anything that worries you? Like, cause you guys are real smart people. I was telling. Somebody over here, I was like, these guys are real smart. Yeah. Your daughter graduated, I want to say from Morehouse. Did I get that? Howard. Howard. Howard University. Don't, don't burn me down for that one, okay? <laughs> no, Howard's pretty good, yep, though. Yep, she's working for, for uh, Penguin Random House in, yeah. in New York. She's a book editor, and so she's, she's probably the smartest in the house. And did your wife go to Jackson went, State? No, she went to Tennessee State. Tennessee State, okay. Yeah, both of those Tennessee State. No, both no. of those are historically black universities, yep, right? Yep. Tennessee State. And her, her, her brother went to Tennessee State, graduated from Tennessee State. Her, uh, her, her, and my wife's uh, sister, Regina, she's a congressman in Oklahoma. And uh, I yeah, didn't but, know that. Yep, yeah, but sitting in my wife. She's in the House of Representatives? Yeah. Who's your, who's Regina your Goodwin. That's your sister in law? Yeah. Come on, man. You can't hold stuff like this back for me <laughs> and then hit me with it in the middle of an interview. But I like that, actually. Yeah, she's sharp. Yeah, I like that. Sharp. Okay, last thing. Bar or body wash, man. Which are you? I'm here, here. Bar and body wash. Which one are you? You bar or your body wash? So the defense wash. of duels I'm tomorrow. Your body wash? I am. Hey. I'm doing both. Yeah, you, well, of course you're getting both of them anyway. What are we going to do it on camera or not? Yeah. Defense of duels tomorrow. Defense you got anything? Defense of duels tomorrow. I'm pumped, man. I'm so excited that you guys are here. I want this to be your home. I want this to be 
the home of Defense Soap Duels. I want it to be their home annually, every year. We, 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 laid, we laid out the red carpet for you guys, and um, so we want this to be your home. Okay. Thank you for the time. Defend what you build. I know you're gonna. Yeah. And good luck to you guys moving Thank forward to Spire. Thank you. Appreciate it.